ineluctable modality of the visible. At least that, if no more thought through my eyes. Signatures of all things I am here to read, see spawn and see rack, the nearing tide, that rusty boot, snot green, blue silver, rust, colored signs, limits of the diaphane. But he adds, in bodies, then he was aware of them bodies before of them colored. How? By knocking his sconce against them, sure. Go easy. Bald he was and a millionaire, maestro di colo cesano. Limit of the diaphane in, why in, diaphane, a diaphane. If you can put your five fingers through it, it is a gate, if not a door. Shut your eyes and see. Stephen closed his eyes to hear his boots crush crackling rack and shells. You are walking through it, howsomever. I am, a stride at a time, a very short space of time, through very short times of space. Five. Six, the Nachhineinder, exactly, and that is the ineluctable modality of the audible. Up in your eyes. No, Jesus, if I fell over a cliff that Beatles or his base fell through the Nebeneinander ineluctably, I am getting on nicely in the dark. My ash sword hangs at my side. Tap with it. They do. My two feet in his boots are at the ends of his legs. Nebeneinander. Sound solid made by the mallet of Las Demiurgos. Am I walking into eternity along Sandy Mount Strand? Crush, crack, crick, crick. Wild sea money. Domine Dizzy Kenzema. Won't you come to Sandy Mount, Madeline the Mare? Rhythm begins, you see. I hear a catalytic tetrameter of iams marching. No, a gallop, Galen de Mer. Open your eyes now. I will. One moment. Has all vanished since, if I open and am forever in the black a diaphane, basta, I will see if I can see, see now. There, all the same without you, and ever shall be world without end. They came down the steps from Leahy's terrace prudently, Frauenzima, and down the shelving shore flabbily their splayed feet sinking in the silted sand. Like me, like algae, coming down to our mighty mother. Number one swung lordly her midwife's bag, the other's gamp poked in the beach. From the liberties out for the day, Mrs. Florence McCabe. Relict of the late packed McCabe, deeply lamented of Bride Street. One of her sisterhood loved me squealing into life. Creation from nothing. What has she in the bag? A misbirth, with a trailing navel cord hushed in ruddy wool. The cords of all link back, strand entwining cable of all flesh. That is why, mystic monks, will you be as gods, gaze in your omphalos. Hello, Kinch here. Put me on to Edenville, Aleph, Alpha, not, not one. Spouse and helpmate of Adam Cadman. Eva, naked Eve. She had no navel. Gaze, belly without blemish, bulging big, a buckler of taut vellum, no, white-heaped corn, 
orient and immortal, standing from everlasting to everlasting, womb of sin. Wound in sin, darkness I was too, made not begotten by them. The man with my voice in my eyes and a ghost woman with ashes on her breath. They clasped and sundered, did the coupler's will. From before the ages he willed me and now may not will me away or ever. Alex Eternus says about him. Is that then the divine substance wherein father and son are consubstantial? Where is poor dear Arias to try conclusions, warring his life long upon the contrans magnificent Jew bang dantiality, ill starred Hersiak? In a Greek water closet he breathed his last euthanasia. With beaded mitre and with crozier stalled upon his throne, widower of a widowed sea, with upstiffed amorphorion with clotted hinder parts. Airs romped around him, nipping in eager airs. They are coming, waves, the white mane seahorses, champing, bright wind bridled, the steeds of Mananon. I mustn't forget his letter for the press. And after the ship, half twelve. By the way, go easy with that money like a good young imbecile. Yes, I must. His pace slackened. Here, am I going to Aunt Sarah's or not? My consubstantial father's voice. Did you see anything of your artist brother Steve and lately? No, sure he's not down in Strasbourg Terrace with his Aunt Sally. Couldn't they fly a bit higher than that, eh? And, 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 and tell us, Stephen, how is Uncle Cy? Oh, we forgot the things I married into. The boy's up in the hayloft, the drunken little cost drawer, and his brother, the cornet player. Highly respectable gondoliers. And skew-eyed Walter, serving his father, no less. Sir, yes, sir, no, sir, Jesus wept, and no wonder by Christ. I pull the wheezy bell of their shuttered cottage and wait. They take me for a dun, peer out from a coin of vantage. It's Stephen, sir. Let him in. Let Stephen in. A bolt drawn back and Walter welcomes me. We thought you were someone else. In his broad bed, Uncle Richie, pillowed and blanketed, extends over the hillock of his knees a sturdy forearm. Clean-chested, he has washed the upper moiety. Mauro, nephew. He lays aside the lapboard whereon he drafts his bills of cost for the eyes of Master Goff and Master Chaplain Tandy, filing consents and common searches and a writ of duchess take him. A, a bog oak frame over his bald head, wild requiescat. The drone of his misleading whistle brings Walter back. Yes, sir. Malt for Richie and Stephen, tell mother. Where is she? Bathing Chrissy, sir. Papa's little bed pal, lump of love. No, Uncle Richie. Call me Richie. Damn your lithia water. It lowers. Wosky. Uncle Richie, really. Sit out of by the law, Harry. I'll knock you down. Walter squints vainly for a chair. Uh, he has nothing to sit down on, sir. He has nowhere to put it, you mug. Bring in our Chippendale chair. Would you like a bite of something? None of your damn lordy door airs here. The rich of a rash of fried with a herring, sure. <laughs> so much the better. We have nothing in the house but backache pills. Alerta. He drones bars of Ferrando's Aria di Sortita. The grandest number, Stephen, in the whole opera. Listen. His tuneful whistle sounds again, finely shaded with rushes of the air, his fists big drumming on his padded knees. 
This wind is sweeter. Houses of decay, mine, his, and all. You told the Congo's gentry you had an uncle a judge and an uncle a general in the army. Come out of them, Stephen. Beauty is not there. Nor in the stagnant bay of March's library, where you read the fading prophecies of Wahakim Abbas. For whom? The hundred-headed rabble of the cathedral close? A hater of his kind ran from them to the woods of madness, his mane foaming in the moon, his eyeballs, stars, hoyananin, horse nostril, the oval equine face's temple, Buck Mulligan, Foxy Campbell, lantern jaws, Abba's father, Furious Dean, water fence laid fire to their brains, puff. Descende calve ut nait ninium de cavalis. A garland of gray hair on his comminated head. See him, me, clavering down to the foot pace. Descende clutching a monstrance, a bacillus guide. Get down, bald pole. The choir gives back menace and echo, assisting about the altar's horns the snorted Latin of jack priests moving burly in their arms, tonsured and oiled and gilded fat with the fat of kidneys of wheat.